Hello. So you may be wondering, what on earth am I doing? Um, we're actually in my living room and we're here because I have towels to fold. <laughs> no, more importantly, um, there's a new movie out with Jonah Hill and his therapist. And I am here because um, some of my clients have asked if I've seen it. And I like to actually watch things, even read things that my clients recommend just to get a take on their experience. And it's something that we get to chat about. So I'm here to watch and see what it's all about. So watch with me. Okay, so I have watched like two minutes of this. And I have to say, instantly, <laughs> the way Jonah walked into the therapy room uh, really was funny to me because I've had a few clients who walk in like that and it, it makes me laugh um, because it's so casual and it's not surprising to me that his therapist received him the way he did and their interaction so far is pretty amazing <laughs> and I love it. Um, it's very reminiscent, so I'm going to keep watching. Okay, <laughs> so another thing, his therapist, Phil Stutz, um, I don't know how he feels about getting compliments, but what I realized is Jonah had said something amazing about him, how he cares about him and how he just um, values his teachings and things like that, and his therapist kind of shifted in his seat, and I wonder if my clients have realized I do something similar when they say these amazing things about me. And um, I don't know, it's kind of complicated being on the other side. So I wonder how his therapist feels because I already feel nervous for him. So something very special just happened. And I say special because um, it kind of shifted in the um, dynamics that they have where the therapist, his alarm goes off and Jonah had to tell him like, hey, that's your alarm. It's time to take your medicine. Wow. Like that is such, their relationship is very interesting to me right now. And I'm not even six minutes in. Like I'm just blown away um, by their interaction. So here's another interesting moment. Um, they, Jonah started talking about an experience or some of his experiences growing up with like dieting and body and his relationship with his mom. And his therapist was like, can you elaborate on that? And Jonah like literally just put a pause to that and said, we're not really here. I can, but I don't want to do it because I'm not here to talk about me. We're here for you. Jonah just totally put up a boundary. And guess what the therapist did? He basically said, well, what if, if you doing so will help me do my thing? And Jonah reinforces boundary by saying, no, they're making a movie about me that I can do that. In like such a joking way, but it was still like clear. And the therapist moved on, did not press the topic. And that just goes to show you can set boundaries with your therapist. Like it's okay. We're as human as anyone out there and you can say no to us if you're not ready to do something say you're not and whatever that sounds like for you so jonah's therapist just said something that really stuck out for me which was like um going into psychiatry not i but his experience with people and people feeling comfortable or there's some type of connection that they had with him when he was younger that they were they easily opened up to him um he couldn't explain why people did that and I can relate to that because I have similar experiences even now and when I look back in time that people tend to just naturally open up to me about things and Sometimes, yes, it is dumping, <laughs> but at the same time, it's also like, okay, like it doesn't bother me sometimes. 
Um, but I, I find that to be interesting. And I haven't really heard anyone actually say, like, people just kind of talk to me without asking. They just share sometimes deep things <laughs> without you asking. And so that's that really sticks out for me right now. So they've taken a break and they both look exhausted because what it, it looks like and sounds like is Jonah's interviewing him but asking very deep questions, which is amazing. And his therapist is also asking him deep questions and they're just both looking like, oof. <laughs> which is very typical of a uh, session where both therapist and client may just feel exhausted after a process. So this is very, this is real y'all. I had to go grab some dinner. Plot twist. Um, Jonah just like went in about like not being honest with his therapist about, apparently they've been shooting for months and months um, and he's been feeling a certain way about it because Jonah is an actor and a director in all sorts of ways. And he just confessed that he doesn't feel good about how things have been going in session and the recording and things things like that. And to open up to his therapist about like not being honest, that is magical. Because what that usually does is it changes things. And the therapist couldn't do that. The therapist only knows what you share with them. We may sense there's a bit of something, but we can't say, oh, you're lying <laughs> about your experience, you know, or what are you not sharing? Like, you know, we don't, we can't do that. Um, and so Jonah actually coming up because it's been eating him up and sharing that, that is amazing. I'm looking forward to seeing how things turn so <laughs> his therapist just said yeah i suspected it but he's so like open and forgiving like we can't hold grudges in therapy and he like just allowed him to like just let it out and say all of that at the end um which is incredible because now they're laughing and smiling with each other and kind of saying well this is part of the process you know which is true. Um, this is a relationship you have with someone, a professional one or whatever it might be, is there's going to be some discrepancy sometimes. And as long as it's addressed, that's where the growth happens. That's part of the growth. And to be vulnerable in that way um, shows that, you know, you are growing. So remember that. So a lot's happened. But what I want to say is Phil is a genius and I wish I had him <laughs> as my professor back in the day when I was in school. Um, he, his insight, his, just his ability to like create like examples and metaphors in a way that just makes sense is so inspiring. I'm more than like halfway through the movie and throughout the process has been like learning tools and even like Jonah having to stop him to use some of the tools he's taught him and I'm actively like using practicing as he's telling Jonah like to do some of the tools um in the movie and like they're so like I I, I don't know what am I trying to say it feels good. <laughs> I think that's what I'm trying to say. It's, he's just a brilliant um, therapist. He's a brilliant human being who's using their past experience and using that in their work. Maybe not directly, but indirectly, indirectly. Um, and I think that's how he's able to understand what people need when they need it, or I should say when what Jonah needs it, but allows Jonah to experience and tell his story and chimes in when needed in the most coolest way possible. Man, 
I need me one of these therapists. <laughs> Not dissing my therapist is in any way. I like my therapist. I just, this is a cool therapist too. Every therapist is different. That's what I'm saying. Nah, I'm backpedaling. <laughs> so Jonah and his therapist just talked about, his therapist has Parkinson's and Jonah it talked about like how he doesn't bring it up, but also like recognizes that is there and also then shared how much his therapist means to him and the thought about losing him not that he thinks about it um all the time has come up before in the sense that like how much he relies on his therapist for advice and someone he's um come to when things got really bad for him and it's interesting to hear that now because Recently, for me, I've heard a few of my clients say that, and it didn't really hit me until hearing this, is that like, the job that we have as therapists, the job that I have, I'll speak for myself, is more than a job, it's, it seems. It's, I've seen people at their worst, I've seen people at their best, and they rely on me and see me as this person that if I'm not there, whether I, it's not that they, <laughs> what has been said to me is like, I'm gonna die or something like that. More so, if I were to move or not do my job anymore, that's gonna be devastating because of the role and impact I've had in their lives. And I didn't really process that, I, I heard it, and then I'm like, okay, I'm, you know, just kind of went through it. It's, I guess, a compliment in some way. And I kind of just dissociated. And this just reminded me of it. And I'm like processing it now to lose someone that has had such an impact in your life. That is scary and devastating in some way. Um, yeah, I'm thinking. So Jonah is wrapping this up now and he's basically saying that like people he looks up to um, aren't exempt from the things he also experiences, which I think is true. Um, that like we as your therapists also struggle, you know, um, we're going through it. We're also in therapy. We're also in relationship problems, family issues, school problems, financial things like we go through all the human things, you know, as you do. Um, so I like that he said that. And I like that this video exists because it's showing that therapists also go through it. <laughs> so Jonah, <laughs> you're amazing. He basically just shared that he's making this movie and made this movie to give um, the tools that he's learned in therapy to people through this film. What, a, that sounds a little familiar. <laughs> That's what Tammy and I try to do with therapy talk. You know, just, we have so much information, we have so many tools and we learn so many. I just learned watching this and we wanna share it with you um, and the world. So for someone, like him to do something like that. That's very inspiring because have I thought many times to quit? <laughs> yes. Um, and now I, I feel energized. I feel um, I'm reminded of the why of therapy talk. And here it is. We want to share the tools. I want to share the tools I have, the information I have with you so that you can do whatever you want with it, whether it's helping yourself, helping someone else, um, growing, all of that. And I'm just really happy right now. Um, I think I went through all the emotions here. Um, there were a lot of sad parts, the parallel of both of them and Jonah and his therapist. Um, and 
a lot of insight. A lot of insight. I have five more minutes to watch. I'll be back. I finished it. <laughs> this was great. It was awesome. Just to add to what I shared before. Um, yeah, very insightful. And here's another tool for you is to watch this film because you may be thinking, having some doubts about therapy and not really sure. Not every therapy engagement is going to look like that. So just be mindful and be aware of that. This is what their relationship looks like. So your relationship with your therapist may look very different and that's okay. It's your relationship with them. They also, their personalities vibe and with therapy, that's part of it. Your, if things aren't going well in therapy, sometimes it could be personality related. Um, and that's something to consider. It's not that therapy isn't working. Maybe you and that therapist just don't work well together and that's okay. It's a collaboration and that's what um, Jonah and his therapist showed here is when a therapist and a client collaborate, it could look beautiful um, to be able to like call each other out on stuff. You know, I'm not an expert on your life. You share your life with me, at least information, and I may get it wrong. And so I expect you to tell me like, nope, <laughs> you didn't hear that correctly. And that's okay. Um, so I'm glad I was able to watch this. Um, it was recommended by some clients and I forgot a friend, my friend Liz actually shared the initial trailer with me and it's like, oh my gosh, I'm waiting on my interview. <laughs> um, so anyway, thank you for sitting with me and, um, I don't know, I may talk more about this as I process, um, what I watched, um, and may record it. I don't know. I mean, throughout this recording, I wasn't even sure if I should keep recording. And that's how things have been for me, where I have a great idea and I start doing it. And I'm like, I start talking myself in and out of it. And so that's part of something I'm working on actively or actively working on um, is that self-doubt sometimes. So anyway, I don't know. I just shifted there, but I'm going to move on. Maybe we'll talk more about self-doubt some other time. Yeah. All right. Bye.